Okay, so this is part three. This is the last part um, of my series of videos from estate sales and grad sales that I recently went to. I'm not sure in what order YouTube will upload them, but um, it really doesn't matter which one you start, but I would love if you checked out all three of them. So the last part, as promised, is the glassware, miscellaneous, and some linen items. And actually there was one thing I forgot from the first video and another thing I forgot from the second video. So I went ahead and decided to include them in this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Continuing on, I'll start right here in the middle. The book sale, estate sale, uh, whatever you wanna call it from the very first video. And I think I forget to mention, everything from the very first video was from the same place. I'm sure you could gather that, but everything was from the sort of same place. So these are a few of the other items I also picked up there. I got this um, large, and I believe this is a dinner plate. I have not, I have not measured it, which is ironic because I have a um, measuring stick right beside me. But I think, well, I guess I could do it right now to kind of get an estimate. Um, maybe 10 inches, so it might be the dinner plate from Myth, um, Macbeth Evans line, and it's the Cremex, or Cremex, however you want to say that, um, pattern, and it's a pink, and I paid a dollar for it, and I have the smaller salad dishes and, um, saucers to that. I also picked up a few milk glass mugs. This is 1978. This is Universal Studios, and this was 10 cents. I just thought it was really cool with Jaws on there in Frankenstein's Monster. It's really neat. I hadn't seen that one before. This one I have seen before, and this was 25 cents. Um, some of these mugs were in a box, and they were all marked 25 cents, but this one was on a table, and it was 10 cents. So, And this is the Snoopy, the People's Choice. This one came in a series of... Uh, four and this is um, number four that was 1980 and then this one is Monday's Child and this one is made by Fire King and this was 25 cents also and this one's Anchor Hawking and this one I'm not sure who put this one out okay so those were from that um, book estate sale and I also picked up uh, a couple of these pillowcases there and this one is um, I think these are like a feed sack uh, material and I got a purple one and this is just one single and then a blue one with flowers and I also picked up not this one but a couple of dish towels also from that same sale this one is made by Canon and then this one says insta dry on the tag and that's all it says these ones I have all washed, um, and the reason being, those were perfect. The The book estate sale was very clean, very, very nice. Um, however, the estate sale that I went to in Lakeside, um, as I mentioned, we went to Lakeside for a uh, Chubby Checker concert, and it's such a cool place, like I mentioned. When you go in the date gate, it's ran by the Methodist Church, and... Um, you have to pay for parking and you have to pay for a ticket to get in. But once you get in, the community is its like a whole nother world. It's different cottages, they're all, you know, each very unique. Um, the people give them names, kind of like you would name a boat. Very, very cool. So as we were walking, because we, we had to park in a parking lot at the top, and then you kind of walk into the skated type community. So we had to walk down to the hall. There's a house that said estate sale. It was so weird. We walked in, the lights were turned off, and it still said it had like an hour left of the sale. And there was nobody in sight. I have, we almost turned away. So I yell, hello. And you could hear the creaking from the floor. And then you could hear somebody coming down the steps. And it was this lady with these two dogs. And she said, oh, feel free to look around. You know, she turned on the light. And I picked up these, um, three things and they were very filthy I guess you would say 
They had all kinds of stains all over them. Oh, you know what? Actually, four things. I forgot I had this. It's actually still kind of damp, so I had it over here on a chair drying. But anyway, so they were extremely filthy. And um, it was the first time I've ever taken something from the bag into my house and literally dumped it in the tub. I did not want to touch it. <laughs> there was all kinds of stuff on these things. Uh, hair stains. I don't know. But I took a chance because they were, you know, a really good price. 50 cents for the towels and then a dollar for the um, tablecloth. And this one, I I don't know. I pay, pay 15, 25 cents for it. I can't remember. But um, they clean up fairly well. This towel here has actually a few stains on it. Um, and I tried lemon juice. I've tried all kinds of things, believe me but it looks way better than I did. So this is what I got. I got this pot holder. I just thought the print on it was so neat. Some of the green actually did um, come out of it as I was soaking it, but I had no other choice. So um, there's that. And then this dish class was I absolutely loved and I'm glad it did come out um, pretty good and does have some tiny small holes in it and a couple stains left, but it actually cleaned up far better than I had imagined. I got this dishcloth just with the red stripe on it. And then this tablecloth, which is very pretty, but it does have a couple, and I don't see them here, but a couple sizable holes on them. So that was there. And I'm glad I didn't pick up a bunch of things because I don't know how I would have carried it. <laughs> so there's a flea market in town, um, downtown. And I've never been there before. It's brand new to me. And my cousin came into town, so we checked it out. So I'm going to show you a few things I got there. Um, this was hanging on the wall. It's just a, um, like a page from a magazine. Of course, you know I like Rick Nelson. Um, somebody had wrote their names in these strips. Then they had erased them. Then they had put new names on it. So I just erased those names and then used colored pencils and tried to color them in a little bit. But I thought it was a neat page. And then it has a little article on the back. And I'll reframe that. So I got that. And then I also, at the flea market, got this. And I'm really excited about it. And if you know anything about it, let me know. The color, I was really drawn to this candy dish. I normally don't see this color of purple. And it's a very opaque color. Got a little bit of marbling towards the middle, like a slag type glass in the middle and then this beautiful opalescent type of see-through up here by the ruffle and also in the zigzags. It has a little chip on it. Let's see if I can find it. In fact, I didn't notice it right away. It was by the sticker though. It's right here. You can see it's right there. Um, but I paid $4 and I just absolutely love it. It's so neat. So if you have any information on it, I've tried to do some research. I can't find anything that's like the same color like this. So I would love to know more about that. And I picked up another milk glass mug. This one was a dollar. Um, it says I left my heart in San Francisco. It was in really good shape. So I got that. Oh, and this is actually came from the book sale too. I forgot to show you. This is from the first video I forgot, and this was 10 cents. This is just a like a tri-fold yardstick. Okay, two more things to show you. Um, this was a jewelry set that I forgot from the second video, and it is Sarah Cometry. I actually just wanted to include this. Um, I found it at the antique store in the town that was... Um, by where my doctor um, is and since then I saw where this antique store is closing so I don't know if I'll get the chance to go back to it but I paid two dollars for the earrings and the necklace the set is Sarah Coventry and the design is called Charisma I believe when I looked it up it's in great shape it is missing one jumper here link and I will just, I have one, so I'll just put that on there. But I actually wore this the night of the concert, and I got a compliment on it when we walked into Lakeside. So um, I just think it's pretty, it's very eye-catching. 
So I wanted to show you that. And then last but not least <laughs> is this cup. And the unique thing about this is I paid $1.29 for it. And this is actually a thrift find, but I wanted to include it in this video so I wouldn't forget. I got this at the Goodwill um, a couple of days ago. So it was around the same time I got everything else, so I decided to include it. It had plastic wrap around it, so I wasn't able to read the front. But it says Hotel Savoy, S-A-V-O-Y, Seattle. And I had no idea what that is. There is um, a chip there. Obviously, I knew it was a hotel because that's what it says. And it actually has two chips on it. Oh, another one right here. So I'm going to take this out real quick so I can show you the bottom without breaking. Okay, so here it says... Hotel Savoy, and then the size says the Gorham Company, and then it has, you know, a series of numbers, and it says electric plate. If it gets noisy in the background, I'm sorry, they're actually working on my road, <laughs> so, but um, some of the plating is coming off the handles, but I did a little research, and it looks like this hotel was actually built in Seattle in the early 1900s, and then was no more in the late 80s. So I'm not sure what the time period of this is or how somebody came across this, if they took it from their hotel room, I, I don't know. But I thought it was a very unique, very um, cool piece to have. And I'm actually gonna put that in my living room by my, um, I have a silver plate uh, teapot and a tray, so I'm gonna put it on there. But. So that actually is it of everything I have to show you. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. I would love to have you with my channel. Leave a comment. And don't forget, I actually have a giveaway going on. If you have not watched my last vintage haul, go ahead and do so. I have a giveaway for a book with paper dolls in it. And I will pick the winner on Thursday. I'm not sure what time I'm going to get to that. I'm actually just going to put everybody's name um, in a bowl and just draw the old fashioned way. So stay tuned for that. That will be posted on Thursday. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos. I really enjoy it and I'm so happy to be able to get back into the swing of things and share these items with you. So I will see you and talk to you all very soon. Bye.